Welcome to Basketball You. If you're new to Basketball You, make sure you slam dunk that subscribe button. And just to make sure you don't miss a thing, make sure you tap that notification bell right after you hit that subscribe button. Welcome back to Basketball You. Don't forget to go back to our previous episodes where we were explaining to you basketball history and the history of women's basketball. And basically how the basketball, the backboard, and the rim were created. We also talked about all the areas of the floor, the measurements, to where to be on the court, and what the most efficient places where to score, and how to do certain things on the court. Then we talked about the most important part of the game and what makes the game go. The players and their positions. And before that big orange thing goes up in the air, we have to talk about the rules. Now we touched on the rules briefly in the history of basketball and what they were, but those rules are a lot different now. I need to explain a few more small details. As a fan or a beginner, you wouldn't really pay attention to. So we're gonna let you know about these things today. But before we do, we're all on social media, Twitter, Instagram, check us out there. Be sure to comment on this video and subscribe so you know what's going on all the time. And be sure to spread the word. Anyone that needs knowledge on the game itself, and the history, even to a significant other that you like and you wanna teach them about basketball, go on and tell them about the page. So we're gonna break it up in segments today. We're gonna let you in on understanding the initial rules of how many people you can have on the team. Then we're going to revisit the positions and then explain the basic basket rules, the clock timing, along with explaining about overtime and what overtime is, the rules of scoring, the substitutions, and timeouts. Then we will break down fouls and violations. And now it's time to break it all down. Break it on, break it on, break it on down. The main rules. A game of basketball is played with two teams of five players on the court. Teams are allowed to have a maximum of 12 players on their roster, five players on the court, and seven players on the bench. The objective of the game is to score in the opponent's basket and prevent them from scoring in the basket your team is defending. The game starts with a jump ball in the center of the court with two opponents facing the direction of their opponent's basket. After an opponent's score, the opposition must pass the basketball in from behind the baseline. Players can only move the basketball around the court by dribbling or passing. The winner of the game is the team who scores the most points in their opponent's basket at the end of the game time. A game's duration will depend on the league and age group and will generally either be two halves a game consisting of two halves usually be 15 to 20 minutes in duration for each half. Four quarters. A game consisting of four quarters ranging from eight to 12 minutes in duration of each quarter. Halftime can last anywhere from three minutes to 15 minutes depending on the age group and level the teams are playing at. Shorter time for younger age groups, longer time for professional level teams. The clock will stop on all dead ball situations in the final minute of the first half and the final two minutes of the second half. The clock will stop for the duration of all timeouts. Now that the main detail has been spoken, it's time to talk about overtime. At the end of regulation, if the scores are tied, there will be an overtime period of three to five minutes. After this time, if the score is still tied, the teams will compete for another overtime period. This continues until the conclusion of an overtime where a winner has been decided. Each team is allowed one timeout during overtime. The fouls from the second half of the game carry over to the overtime periods. Now that you understand how long the game is and how overtime works, it's time to talk about the rules of scoring. Each free throw is worth one point. Each field goal shot is worth two points. A field goal is considered mid-range shot, a layup, a post move, etc. Each shot made from behind a three-point line is worth three points. However, if any part of the player's foot is on the three-point line when shooting, the shot will be worth two points. So you've been scoring a lot. You feel exhausted. 
That's why we got substitutions. Substitution is when you swap a player from the bench with a player on the basketball court. This is used to allow players to rest and recover throughout the game, as well as give all players on the team a chance to participate. A coach is allowed to make an unlimited amount of substitutions throughout the game. A coach is allowed to substitute their players on and off the court on any dead ball situation. That's after a foul, violation, timeout, free throws, etc. A substitution is called by asking the scoring table for a sub and then waiting for a stoppage in play where the referee will give you time to substitute players. Do not substitute players without waiting for the referee to signal for you to do so, or it will result in a technical foul on your team. So maybe your team just got through running a marathon, full court, half court, and they really need some energy. That's where timeouts come into play. A timeout is a stoppage in play that allows the coach to talk to the players and allows the players to rest and hydrate. For a list of reasons, why a coach should call a timeout, each team is allowed to call two timeouts per half. These cannot be carried over from the first half to the second half. The duration of a single timeout is one minute. During a timeout, the coach can make substitutions. Although basketball has been regarded as a non-contact sport, everyone who has participated in or watched basketball knows that is not the case. With 10 players on the court competing at a high intensity and attempting to gain an advantage over their opponent, it's impossible for there to not be contact throughout the game. So what differentiates legal contact from plays where a foul is called? Well, a foul is called when a player makes illegal contact with an opponent that results in an advantage. When a foul is called, live play immediately stops. Which team receives the ball will depend on many factors that I will cover over very shortly. But first, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Here are the six most common personal foul types. Number one, reaching. It occurs when a defender reaches in to steal the basketball but makes illegal contact with their opponent. The contact made is usually the defender slapping the dribbler's arm or wrist. Number two, holding. A holding foul is called when a player uses their hands or arms to limit or prevent an opponent's movement around the court. Number three, blocking. A blocking foul is called when a player uses their body to limit or prevent an opponent's movement on the court without establishing position. Number four, charging. A charging foul is called when a defensive player has established position and an offensive player runs into them. This can happen with or without the ball. Number five, pushing. A pushing foul is called when a player extends their arms forcefully to move an opponent on the court. Number six, illegal screen. An illegal screen is called when an offensive player who is setting the screen on a defender has not established position when the opposition makes contact with them. Along with these fouls result in penalties. If a foul is whistled while an opponent is in the motion of shooting the basketball, the offensive player will receive free throws. If a player is fouled while attempting a field goal within the three point line, the player will get a chance at two free throws. If fouled while attempting a field goal beyond the three point line, that player will get three free throws. However, if a shot attempt while being fouled is successful, the points for that shot will count and they will be rewarded with only one additional free throw, regardless of where on the floor the contact was made. This can also result of a four point play. On all non-shooting personal fouls, the team who has fouled receives the basketball at the closest point out of bounds from where the foul was made. If a team commits more than the legal number of fouls in a half or a quarter, the player who was fouled will receive two free throws for each additional foul. A player who is fouled out must spend the rest of the game on the bench after they accumulated five fouls throughout the duration of the game. But in the NBA, it's six. Now these fouls occur in a very special situation. Number one, technical foul. A technical foul is called when a coach or player brings the game of basketball into disrepute and is not made in relation to contact. 
This could be actions like yelling at a referee, flopping, kicking a basketball, using inappropriate language, holding on to the rim after a dunk, etc. When a player or coach has received two technical fouls, they will be ejected from the game and required to leave the playing area. This also results as a penalty for one or two free throws, depending on the league, for any opposition player on the court and then possession. Number two, flagrant foul. A flagrant foul may be personal or technical foul of a violent or savage nature, or a technical non-contact foul which displays unacceptable conduct. It may or may not be intentional. This can include actions like hitting, kicking, or pushing another player. The penalty is the same as the technical foul. One or two free throws depending on the league for any opposition player on the court and then possession. Number three, unsportsmanlike foul. An unsporting foul is a non-contact technical foul which consists of unfair, unethical, dishonorable conduct or any behavior not in accordance with the spirit of fair play. The penalty is the same as follows as technical foul and flagrant foul. And it's also the same as this next one. Number four, intentional foul. An intentional foul is a personal or technical foul that may or may not be premeditated and is not based solely on the severity of the act. Now that you know what not to do in the court, next up is game violations. When a violation occurs, play is immediately stopped and the team who committed the violation loses possession of the basketball. The basketball is then passed in from outside the court by the opposition of the closest point to where the violation occurred. Number one, out of bounds. The basketball is ruled out of bounds when it touches either a player, the floor, or an object that is out of bounds. The possession of the basketball goes to the opposite team of the player who was the last to touch the basketball. If the basketball lands on the line, that is still considered out of bounds. Number two, traveling. Traveling is difficult to describe, but is in place to prevent players from taking more than one step while holding the basketball. This game also prevents players from moving or changing their pivot foot once it's been established. Number three, double dribble. A double dribble can occur in two situations. One, a player dribbles the basketball, picks up their dribble, and then dribbles the basketball again. Two, when a player touches the basketball with both hands while dribbling. Number four, held ball violation. When two opponents grab the basketball at the same time and it cannot be gained by a single player quickly, a held ball violation will be called. The basketball is given to each team on a rotating basis, depending on the possession arrow, which will be discussed later. Number five, goaltending violation. A goaltending violation is called if an offensive or defensive player makes contact with the basketball while it's in the downward flight after a shot, or if a player touches the basketball when it's in the vertical cylinder above the hoop. If the offensive player receives a goaltending violation, the basket is called off and their opponent receives possession of the basketball. If the defensive player receives a goaltending violation, the basketball is counted and the defense will then receive the basketball similar to a normally made shot. Number six, backcourt violation. Once the basketball has been fully established in the offense's front court, they are not allowed to cross back over the half court line into the backcourt. If they do, the penalty results as a turnover. The only exception to this is if a defensive player was to tap the basketball over the half court line, then the offense can sprint back and retrieve it. And remember, you can't have game violations without time violations. Number one, three seconds in the key violation. The three in the key rule is used to prevent offensive players from standing in the key for long periods of time. Instead, players must continually move around the court keeping the key open for dribble penetration. Once a shot has been attempted, a three second violation cannot be called. The offensive team can also be called for a three second violation in some leagues. But once the penalty has occurred, the basketball will be given to the other team. Number two, five second inbound. Once a player passing in from out of bounds receives the basketball from the referee, they then have five seconds to pass the basketball into one of their teammates. Not doing so will resolve in the penalty and the basketball will be given to the other team. Number three, five second closely guarded violation. This violation is rarely called, but it's important to know 
An offensive player in the front court with possession of the basketball can be called for a five second violation if they are being guarded within six feet and fail to pass, shoot, or dribble within five seconds. When the violation is called resulting in a penalty, the basketball will be given to the other team. Number four, eight second backcourt violation. After gaining possession of the basketball in the backcourt, the offensive team is required to advance the basketball over the halfway line within eight seconds. The count is continued if the opposition deflects the basketball, but stopped if the opposition takes possession of the basketball. In some leagues, the time limit is 10 seconds instead of eight. When a violation is called, the basketball is given to the other team. And number five, shot clock violation. A shot clock is used to increase the speed of the game and prevent teams from stalling the basketball. After taking possession of the basketball, the offensive team has a specific amount of seconds to advance down the court and attempt a shot which makes contact with the rim. The length of the shot clock can vary depending on the level of basketball and will usually be somewhere from 35 seconds to 24 seconds. If a shot is taken by the offensive team and the basketball hits the rim, the shot clock is reset to zero no matter which team takes possession. The rule is used in all professional and college level basketball. Some states have begun to implement the rule in high school as well. Same as before, when a violation is called, the basketball is given to the other team. A player is rewarded with a free throw opportunity after being fouled while shooting the basketball. After the opponent has exceeded their foul limit or after the opponent commits a technical or flagrant unsportsmanlike foul. This results in one, two, or three contested shots from a free throw line, all worth one point each. But there are rules when a player is shooting free throws. Lane violation, shooter. The player shooting the free throw is not allowed to jump or step over the free throw line until the basketball has touched the rim. Doing so will result in a violation and the basketball awarded to the opposition team on the sideline. Lane violation, non-shooters. The other nine players on the court during free throws must also follow these rules. The four players behind the three-point line are now allowed to cross over the three-point line until the basketball has touched the rim. The five players lined up on the edges of the key can step into the key as soon as the basketball has left the shooter's hands. If the defensive team breaks any of these rules, the player shooting free throws receives one extra shot if their current shot is missed. If the free throw shooter makes the shot on a defensive lane violation, the shot counts and the play will continue. If one of the offensive players breaks one of these rules, the free throw does not count and the opposition receives the basketball out of bounds. Possession arrow. The possession arrow is used after every held ball or when the referees are unsure on an out of bounds call. The intentional direction of the arrow is determined by the jump ball that commences the game. The team who does not secure first possession of the basketball will receive the basketball at the next jump ball. The possession arrow then alternates between the two teams for the remainder of the game. Injuries. When an injury occurs on the court, coaches, parents, and team members on the sideline must wait until the referee has given permission before entering the court to attend to the injured player. If live play is stopped to address an injury from a player on the court, that player cannot stay in the game and must be substituted. They can be brought back into the game at the next opportunity. Now, after going through all these rules, let's just take a quick look at what the rules used to look like that were created by the inventor of basketball, Dr. James Naismith. That pretty much sums up all the rules of the game of basketball. Be sure to check out all of our social medias. Everything, including the blog, is right there on the description. This is Basketball U. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, follow all of our social medias right there in the description to keep yourself up to date as this channel will have a lot of basketball, a lot of players, and a lot of training and more information on how to play the game of basketball. Remember, someone's always working. Are you? 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 You?